Alright guys, we're back with some more Quantum Break. I haven't played this game in like two weeks. So yeah, it's going to be a struggle again trying to figure out the controls. I'm going to start playing it more regularly though. Once it decides to load, I think we might be coming up on an episode though. Like a, the, the next part of the TV series. <clears throat> Bored out of my mind, I need a fucking job. Dang, iron shit. That's why I fucking drive. Come on. I have a couple good video ideas coming out soon. Just so you guys know. So, yeah. Couple things to do with the new COD. Couple things to do with possibly with the new Battlefield. Um, might be getting Homefront: The Revolution. Yeah. Couple other things. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that could stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Mater doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. <laughs> Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. That. Okay, just trying to figure out the basic control. Jack, that key you got from Will's briefcase. Okay, move. Move so I can do it. Thank you, bitch. I forget, her name is like Olivia, right? I haven't been paying attention to the subtitle. Okay. Oh, God damn it, more parts. Gotta find another way in. Make it quick. I bet. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Where should I get a lift <laughs> from? Can you find a way in, Jack? Jesus, give me a Shouldn't chance. Stay out here. I found a way in. Oh god, what did I just do? Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Ugh! 
This Nick dude is really annoying. I really regret the building saving. to hide away his personal items. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Wait, he's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Come on, Will. What did you want okay, me to find? finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for... Five minutes took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Okay, the machine is warming up. Time travel experiments with rats? In around about five minutes and 15 seconds, it's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated $12,000 move to go. Into the past, which you must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Through the corridor, and when he comes out the other. <sighs> Moving dates March 1st to March 28th, 1999, from Holy workshop shit, of William Joyce, 18, 821 this is, this is Industrial it, Lane, Riverport, to Brad Barter Swimming Pool, 261 Brad Barter Street, Riverport. Client's name, Me. William Joyce, special instructions, you? extremely ah, delicate boxes. Me. Content, contents are confidential. Pack boxes not to be inspected. Pick up and drop off only. Shipping 17 truckloads over the course of 17 days. Total cost $12,713. Holy shit. You owned this place since 1999? Will. Why didn't you tell me? Will? Put all of your paperwork regarding the pur purchase of the Bradbury swimming pool in this folder. I knew you'd lose track of the, the documents otherwise. I've made sure that the purchase can, can't be traced back to you to funds from your research grant. I don't know what you're up to, and it's not my business to ask, but we've known each other for long enough for me to say this. I trust that you know what is best for you, but I can't pretend that I'm not concerned. Your career is showing so much promise, and your recent actions feel like a drastic turn in the direction I can't begin to understand. I kept my promise and haven't told Jack or anyone else about this. But he's worried about you, even if he doesn't know how to show it. Jack hasn't heard from you in months. He needs you. He needs you. Your attorney and friend, Allison Cunningham, March 29th, 1999. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. She kind of looks like Kate Mara. Oh, time. This note. It's directed. Me. Am I 
4, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. You just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Holy shit. What was that? You recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave the countermeasure's gone? I went back to get it. The entire place is a disaster zone. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Taken. Shit. Safe. Empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands... Help me push this out of the way. Shut up, Will. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. Hoping this place will help us figure out who. I see a typo on the type subtitles. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Yay! I like pressing red buttons. Is that? Yeah, I think so. Oh, second time shit. you should. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. It's not how it I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped him set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we could do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. That right. definitely is Kate Mara. Let's start with the core. That's got to be Kate Mara playing. What All right. The, shit? the countermeasure is gone. What happened? Call me I immediately. I saw some kind of visions of this machine. Where are you? Workshop. Have you taken it? It's not safe in the open. You don't understand the what power this? of this device. I dialed yes, the number you spaceship? gave me in case of emergencies. You okay. aren't answering. What is Core going controls. on? I'm freaking Where out. Still they? trying to call you. F me. Call me. Email me. Something. I can't sleep. Please call me. The number you gave me is now disconnected. Where are you? Hello? It has been a year. I still haven't heard anything. You know where to find me. I've given up hope that you're still listening listening i'm not sure why i'm writing this maybe to get some closure you entered you changed the course of my life when you en entered it i spent over a decade devoted to your cause i sacrificed every relationship i had pushed away everyone i love all in the name of a lie there is no threat coming there what never was i have to force myself to believe this it's the only way to move on it's the only way to pick up the pieces and start over this is goodbye I've seen it. The cause of the fracture exists. It's here. Are you still there? Beth, the time has arrived. It's here. Everything you warned me about is about to come to fruition. Please give me a sign that you're still out there. Put my mind at ease. Tell me you have the countermeasure. I'm losing my mind over here. I spent years... I don't know why he just messaged me. I spent years trying to convince myself that you are you were wrong all this time and that I built the countermeasure for nothing. I tried to move on, pick up the pieces, but now I've seen the proof. Paul Serene brought me in to advise me on an experiment at the university. They've built it. They've built another time machine, almost an exact replica of mine, of my own design, but with key flaws. 
in the calculations. Just like you said, if they activate this machine, then the fracture will occur. How is this possible? How, how have they followed my design so closely? Somebody's been watching me all this time, haven't they? Somebody's orchestrating this, all of it. I'm being followed. At first I thought I was par it was paranoia, but it's true. A man has been watching my every move. I secretly took his photo, ran a search, and his name is Liam Burke. He works for security division of Mon for the a security division of Monarch Solutions. I first noticed it weeks ago, but this could have been going on for years. What does he want? What does he know? How is he connected to this? I need answers. I don't know who I can trust anymore. I don't know who else is involved, what they want, why. I need to hear from you. I need you to know that I'm not alone in all of this. If if what you once told me is true, then the onset of the fracture may be inevitable, but I can't simply stand by and allow it to happen. Not until I know the countermeasure is safe. That was way too long. The schematics for the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of its existence shortly after it was completed. In 1999. 1999. They believe it was destroyed shortly after. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. I can't insert the date yet. Thanks, Nick. You finally did something useful. Here goes nothing. I feel like there's about to be a big explosion. What was that? It's fine. It actually worked. This was the final step. Okay. I need to set up the we machine first. We activate the corridor next. Woo! Jesus, look at that thing go! Okay, corridor, then a date. That was the order at the university. Beth, can you hit that for me? No? Alright, bitch. Fine. I see how it is. There's a life link in here. Yep, thank Might you. Might be what you're looking for. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. That's the key. Aha. Uh -huh. Turn. Why did he make a big deal out of that? He was like... BAM! Did you guys see that? No, I didn't. Will's key did that? Yeah. That's my brother in a nutshell. I just activated the cord. Uh oh, fuck. Let's just hope it still works.
Uh oh, I'm scared. I'm really scared. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. They're so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. Dr. Amaral will not side with us. I saw our video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of phone and research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Nope. Jack, no. <laughs> Girls always think ahead, you know. You guys just like think in the moment. That's something I'm gonna have to do. I wish I had a face cam on my own pants. Let's see if I have a TV show episode now. I think I do. Yep. Okay, I'm not gonna talk. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly. Or how it would end. There he is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. I thought this was going to be uh, Is that angry young man episode. going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Mark. Damn, that's kind of harsh, so he can't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. I think we're gonna do business. Our personal one. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bo. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as your dialogue with Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. 
But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. I think I'm gonna make it start to crumble. Yeah. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Plus, I don't like Martin, and it looks like he's about to get shot, so I'm happy with that. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Me. Wait! We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Here's the show. All right, let me stop for 20 minutes. their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than... I've we... seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. 
Rough day? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Trader. Was that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was the. Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just going to have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Well, I just thought maybe you'd want to. Sure, with me. Alright, I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hang in here for real. Okay. Go mingle. Drink a little. Okay. okay. Alright. I just got a really funny text that has nothing to do with the, the show. Thanks for the gun. Dr. Rummel? Martin. I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism. Distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you see, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! 
I really need to take a shit. Oh, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> Good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you so bad? I don't think I can drink. drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your encouragement. <laughs> oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. That's how me and my friends talk to each other. Oh, Except, like, yeah. it's usually Thank not you. over walking Shut somebody in. Back up slowly. Yeah. First place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. What the fuck is that? that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. But again. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know? I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I guess. Yeah. Love work. Holy oh, right shit! There. Shit! Hey, you oh. little fuck! Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here.
my gun still necessary? <sighs> yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however. found that vagrant, you remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof, 
I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him, and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. We keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race at this point. Very necessary sacrifice. Is that what will was? Necessary sacrifice. Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? When you're ready to cooperate, I'll be here. Was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's ghost files. Remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait. Hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state. It stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LIPO protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon Field Regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Mr. Turner. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. No, I'm the blinker. Fiona. The lab is stutterproof. Stay here. Stutter, where are you going? There are code on harnesses up here. We need them.
Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down the description below. As always guys, I'm crazy VR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See ya.